Hey makers, this is Truveen and today let's talk about Taste Studio in Power Apps. Taste Studio in Power Apps is used to write the automated taste cases for your application that makes your tasting process faster. So let's explore that feature in detail throughout this session. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have created one canvas app. This is one cell slid application and here when I click on the new button you can see these are the different fields I am filling and when I click on save this record will be saved into the system. Now during the manual testing we are just filling this different field and click on save to test this application. But let's say for an example if I want to automate this module using the test studio how can I do that? Let's have a look. So let's say for an example this is the power apps. You just need to navigate yourself to the advanced tool section and here you can see an option test and just click on open test from here. In the other window, it will open the Taste Studio. This Taste Studio is looking like this. Now first, have a look at the Taste Studio. So in Taste Studio, you can see on the left hand side, there is a new suit option. In suit, you can write the different taste cases. You can write multiple suit and multiple taste cases for your application. On the top, you can see the different steps to add inside your test cases. We will talk about this later on this session. Also there is an option to record the step using this record button. Now during this video we are going to write three different test cases. Let's talk about that in detail. So let's say for an example when a user is creating a new item at that time they will fill up inf information over here and when they click on save they are redirected to the success screen over here. Okay. Now let's say for an example here I apply also one more condition that if my email is not valid I mean email does not match properly then it doesn't do the submit form and redirect user to the new screen then I should validate that as well. So let's say for an example in my test case if I enter an email which is not matching the specific format then the test case is failed because email is invalid. I want to test that scenario as well inside my test case. So how can I write all of this information in the test cases? So let's have a look. So first we will write a simple test case to create a new item. It is straightforward like I fill all the information correctly and it should go to the next page. Second test case we will write is we will write some invalid email address and we will see if the test case is passed or failed. And the third test case is let's say I fill up this form but after that I don't want to redirect myself to the next screen. I am still here on the same screen but I still want to validate the form is submitted or not. I want to validate using the regex expression that email is valid or invalid then how can I write that kind of test cases as well. So these are the three test cases we want to test. Now let me tell you one more important thing. Let's say you are under your development environment and you are building this power apps and let's say you have written three different use cases for yourself and now you are moving that application to the production environment. So at that time as well all the test cases will go automatically to the production environment because behind the scene it always capture this test cases. Okay. So now let's get started. Now. I am in my test studio and I am writing my first test case over here. So to write the test case, the easiest way to use this record button. When you click on this record button, it will play your power apps over here into this screen. So you can see that the power apps has been looking like this. Now you can see here we are in the recording mode and the recording icon is visible over here. Now any action you will perform it will capture all the steps over here. Let me click on new button from here. So you can see that it has added select this new button because behind the scene its id is this one. Okay. Now let me fill up the different information over here. I started adding the name notes and you can see that on the left hand side all the steps are captured properly. I am adding my company name as Power Platform Trainings, Position, 
phone number and email this time i am adding the proper email address over here okay so i added my perfect email address dhruvinas at powerplatformtrainings.com okay now what i'm doing is clicking on save button and now as soon as you click on the save button it just selected that and it will redirecting you to this specific page now here what i'm doing here is obviously if the action is successful we are on to this page and i'm just clicking on this button which means that i just written here that click icon check one okay which means that this is my success case obviously when it is failed it will not going to this specific page and we will not be able to select this icon okay so this is one simple test case i have written here simply click on done button from here and you can see that the entire test case has been written properly now let's rename this test case name enter new record and positive test okay i'm just renaming this is like this and i'm providing the entire suit name as create new records with combination and all the steps are captured here like first i selected this 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 everything is captured perfectly and you can see that this is looking like this now let's publish this and try to automatic perform this test case for myself this has been published successfully and now let's click on the play button and you can see that when we click on the play button it automatically started this testing mode it automatically started adding these different fields over here you can see that and left hand side you can see the progress as well see all the information has been added it successfully and it select that check icon as well and the test case is completed which means that entire test case is passed successfully let's click on done and you can see that everything is success over here my test case is passed and you can see that i don't need to apply everything manually over here everything is happened automatically isn't it cool and just imagine how much time it will save if you write this kind of test cases for different part of your power apps module now let me write one more test case over here with the failed test case okay so i am just duplicating this test case so i am just clicking on this and i am just copying this okay so it will copy that entire thing for me and let me just paste so you can see that the another test case is added and now this time i want to do some negative testing okay so what i will do in my email i will write incorrect email okay so it will not successful and it will not go to the next screen and obviously this new record test case will be failed okay so i want to check that case as well ideally that scenario as a tester we need to test because we need to verify that if the user has applied that type of validation in the system or not ideally if the email is not proper the record is not be able to submit it right that kind of test case also i want to observe so what i'll do here is instead of this i am just using dhruvin s which is incorrect email address okay and what i'll do i'll keep everything as is so what happen here is it will never go to the next page it will never select the icon so at this point it start failing which means that the test case is working as expected okay so now what i want to do here is i will start playing this thing and let's test this out let's click on play let's publish the change and let's test so this has started playing the thing and let's have a look and now here you can see it added incorrect email address it's showing something went wrong and you can see that it didn't go to the next steps so you can see that at that time it is throwing an error because obviously it didn't go to the next page and didn't selected the icon and that's the reason this test case is failed so this way uh, your tester can easily verify that email validation is also working fine because it is failing over here okay so ideally the test case is pass but at least you have some sort of indication over here that it's not uh, sending to the next page okay so this is another test case where we did the negative testing by entering the incorrect email address okay so 
Now let's talk about the third use case. The way we have written positive and negative test case is just using this record interface, okay, which is very user friendly for your QAs, okay. Uh, because sometime it is possibility that your QA or your tester doesn't know power app then this is the easiest way where they can write up their test cases like this way where they didn't write any sort of formula and they are just writing the test case based on the icon and interface on the screen okay so this is one way of testing but ideally this is not the perfect way to write the test case because sometimes you need to write formula as well in your test case like let's say over here email validation is performed so ideally email validation is working fine which is a positive i mean it is working fine as a test case but over here as a test case result it is showing you the fail because it didn't go to the next step so that's why it is showing the failing but ideally the test case is passed the reason is that the email validation we applied as a developer it's working fine but as a tester they don't know to write the condition then they can just go with this route and they can decide by their own that yeah obviously it's not going to that page so even if the test case is failed but the validation is applied properly right now let me talk about the third way of the doing the proper test case over here so what i'm doing here is i'm writing one more test case over here so to write a new test case i will just select my suit here and i'm writing one new case over here or what i'll do is i'll simply copy this use case from here and paste it one more time and we will just modify the things over here i don't want to start from scratch okay now over here what we will do is we will use some power fx expression to write my test cases okay so i copied this and now what i want to do here is when you click on submit button now just imagine that right now what happened here is you are redirected to the next screen then it is a chance that you are selecting this button now just imagine that you don't have this new screen in your page okay what i'm doing here is i'm just simply deleting that code over here uh, whenever form is valid it will just do submit form do not navigate themselves to the second screen okay uh, and it will just show the success message and all failed message okay i just want to do like this i don't want user to redirect to the next screen so at the time obviously you will not be able to select the button and sometimes real life cases are like that we always don't have the new screen to select the element okay so what we will do simply from this test case i am just deleting this thing we can simply use click on delete and whenever you go into test case you have different option insert step above with different function insert step below with some specific function okay so now i am just deleting this thing because obviously i am not going to select it and uh submit form button is also like uh we just click on submit form button but how how can i decide that if it is successful or failure okay so now we will use an asset function over here okay so what you need to do here is simply whenever you want to add a step you can simply use insert step below using asset so it will write the asset function or you can simply ty start typing the asset so asset is nothing but it will give you if your step is successful or failure that thing is to be decided by this specific set of statement okay now i'm just deleting this and i will start typing from the scratch to my use case now when we click on submit form before that i want to validate that so insert step above and i will yeah, write the asset so it started writing the asset function and now i want to check the regular expression over here okay so what i'll do i'm just simply click on this button and already i have written this specific code regular expression okay so i will copy my regular expression over here i will copy this entire expression and this is something which requires some sort of uh, power of knowledge to write this kind of test cases okay so in assert i will write this kind of expression asset is match this equal to true then new record creation is pass email validation okay and this is the formula we have written over here okay so even during this time my test case is pass and then select the button 
okay now let's test this case you can see it started this and let's have a look how it goes now it will check the thing over here in asset email validation it is saying that asset failed with pass okay so it didn't go to the next step and you can see that this is like asset failed this test case is getting failed the data is not inserted properly okay now let's say if i'm going here and if i enter the proper email address and if i play now now this time we have entered the correct email address so let's see how it goes you can see that in asset now it is passing the test case is successful and all good we are all done right so this is how you can write the test case using the power fx expression as well also i want to tell couple of things about the test studio now let's say in this specific test case what we have done is email validation we check via this way but sometime if you also want to check against your database record that number of database records are updated or not then you can write one more expression as well like count rows expression from the beginning uh, you can add an action what is the count row into this table and at the end you can check the count rows from that table again if it is plus one then your test case is pass which means that it is inserted successfully otherwise your test case is filled okay so you can just consider via that way over here okay so uh, there are multiple ways to write a single test case it's up to you how you want to design your test case okay now another interesting thing i want to tell you is uh, right now we are under the test studio and we are using always the play button but let's say if you directly want to test this use case then you can use copy play link from here as well and you can perform that test case from here as well you can simply play it and that test case will start executing automatically and it will record the result as well for yourself okay so this is also another way to use the test case studio now one more thing i want to explain you here is most of the time how it works in the real life is here i have created one suit for the new test record similar way i can create another test suit for the edit record or update record i can write all the different use cases over here and at the end what i will do is i will simply click on this and simply click on play button from here i'm just publishing it and play it and then what it will do is here all the entire suit has started executing and it will execute all the suit one by one over here so this is how it will look like and at the end you will get an outcome that which test case is pass fail and you can make a decision as a tester or qa from your side okay so i'm just clicking on done i'm just stop testing over here and this is how this will look like you can create multiple suit with multiple test cases and make your testing process easy and smooth now let me talk about couple of more interesting thing this is the first half of the video now in the next episode we will write and store this test case result somewhere inside the sharepoint list or in the dataverse table or in the excel spreadsheet okay so let's say i have written this test case but what is the outcome of that i want to store that somewhere so there are three different option on test case start on test case complete on test suit complete you can write the different things for yourself so we will write some sort of power fx expression in order to store all this test store result somewhere inside your data source so let's talk about that into my upcoming episode but before that if you find today's video helpful then make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or training the website link is available over here on my channel cover page and all the social media link like instagram twitter facebook everything is available on the channel cover right page so stay connected me over there with this this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.